Hello everybody, Speedrun here again, bringing another new tutorial. And today we are changing the color of this sprite, or should I say, sprite recolor. All right, so you open your data GRF, you can get basically custom item, whatever you like. I'm getting a mop, so under sprites, you have this gibberish folder and I have chosen Moonlight as my sprite to edit. What I'm going to do now is to click on Extract and pick my folder. So I'm picking this one, which is my tutorial folder. Okay. Now I have the Moonlight sprite right here. And I'm going to uh, open with Act Editor. If you don't have this program, I'll be leaving the description below so you can download it. All right, so here I have my Moonlight and you can see there is a lot of frames and we want to edit all of this in order to, um, to do that will be so I could say it's stupid of me to extract one by one, change on Photoshop and send back. So there is another easier way to do that. I will go to edit and palette editor. Right here, I will basically click where I want to edit. So first I click here and I am going to find where is the color at <clears throat> and I found right here so I click on the color now and I pick another color and as you can see it's already changing I'll try not to move this because it's in a similar hue saturation and all that goodness so I'll pick a color of my interest and let's make this a green version of the moonlight all right so i like right here <clears throat> so i'm going to pick my second color and not changing straight away but clicking on the color and now i change it so i can go ahead and pick another color close to that green okay i can make darker if i want to but i'm just keeping a default location of that for this tutorial all right so let's pick the next color palette and is located up here as you can see I am clicking on this and now I can locate another green shade and let's pick the next one which is this and that's located right here and now I'll go ahead to the green shade as well and that's it now I'm picking the next one and I'm going right here and I'm bringing to the green shade. As you can see, it starts to take shape and looking good. Now I'm going to click here and find right here and bring to the green shade. One more to go. Click it here and bring to the green shade. As you can see, we are changing pretty quickly and it's looking awesome. Now I click in this one and bring to the green shade as well I think you already understand where this is going so let's just finish changing all of this now we, we are almost there okay so here we go another part of the sprite and um, that's nearly there uh, I could change this to be a different color uh, let's try maybe let, let's stick to the green shade let's stick and then right here change right here okay and change mm, that's almost perfect let's pick this as well change right here um there's this part right here that I also want to change. And as you can see, the whole 
um, clothes costume part of this character has been changed I like like this all I want to do now it's to close here I could file save I don't know if that will change a thing but once I close as you can see just like magic everything has been added and now I can go to for example attacking and as you can see it just looks awesome and this is the tutorial for today once I save it here and go back to my folder you can see the sprite has been updated this was a very quick and nice tutorial a lot of people have questioning this and now you know how to do it go ahead get creative and create your own custom version of the different mobs items whatever you like feel creative i just want to bring a lot of love to this community so leave a like subscribe all that because that's what inspired me to keep continuing building new and new tutorials now speedrun staying here peace bless you all and have 2024